At that time, the churches, the church-going people, they would not permit jazz in their home. So the young men that wanted to hear their jazz music being played, they brought them to my house. We had a den over on Vinewood at the back of the house. And the gentleman, the young men could come and bring the jazz to my house. And they could play and have a wonderful time at, at the band. And we had a wonderful time there. And uh, I had this great collection of jazz. And I thought it was mine but until later on they matured, they were able to come back and retrieve their <laughs> recordings. Uh, one of the gentlemen who was a great collector of all of the jazz, he had this super collection. And his lady, he got married, and his lady found him yardy. If you don't know what that is, that's yardy. She took his whole collection and burned it up to get revenge on him. But, uh, the gentleman there at the Bluebird Inn, I'll get back to the Bluebird, all of these guys went to the Bluebird Inn and we had a wonderful exposure to my brother, Bernard, he exposed me to the Bluebird Inn, I was tall and I was able to go to the back of the Bluebird, through the alley, through the kitchen and stand up tall, I was a pretty tall gentleman observed the bluebird scene. And at that time, we had musicians such as Phil Hill, who played, he played uh, piano and organ. His mother was a music teacher, I believe, and the whole family had the bent of music. And the younger lad, he became the director of the jazz at the Bluebird Inn later on. But many of the uh, musicians there, they were, maybe you not, haven't even heard of them. Uh, there was a gentleman on saxophone, Houston. Uh, some of the men, as I said, they were just super musicians. But in this bar or club, it was owned by Clarence Eddings, you've probably heard of him. He and Buddy Dubois, they were the owners, along with the wife of Clarence that was married. They maintained the shop. And in the shop, I, it was blue haze. It was blue. It, they'd been there years. Clothes were completely smoke filled. But the jazz was emanating from that scene. In fact, one day, Oscar Peterson came to the Bluebird Inn and he heard these musicians playing this jazz and the only thing he could do as he walked in the door was to shake his head and say, ah, ah, ah. But at the uh, front of the Bluebird, as you look out toward Chinaman, there was a beautiful painting by Edison Terry and in his uh, portrayal, he had Oscar Peterson, King Cole, and Prez in his painting, large oil paint, lighted, etc. Stayed there for quite a long time. But it was a picturesque scene. And most all the musicians, they wanted to come to the Bluebird to be on that scene. In fact, Kitty Burrell and persons such as himself and his brother, he played down on Linwood. They would come to the bird, and there were so many music, 